Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Brandon West, and today we've got some cool things to cover. AWS Lake Formation is now generally available. Lake Formation makes it easy to create a secure data lake, which is a collection of unstructured data from a variety of sources. With Lake Formation, you can collect and catalog that data, and this includes data from things like your different databases and object storage like Amazon S3 buckets. You can then clean and classify this data using machine learning, add fine-grained security permissions to protect your most sensitive data, and then combine that data with services like Amazon Athena and Amazon EMR to gain valuable insights. I'm really excited about this next announcement. The AWS CloudFormation coverage roadmap is now publicly available. CloudFormation is a language that defines infrastructure as code so that you can provision and deploy resources in an automated and repeatable way. The roadmap is now available on GitHub, so you can create your own issues if there's services you would like to see CloudFormation coverage for, you can add your support to existing requests, and you can see what's planned on the roadmap so that you can have a more informed engineering roadmap of your own. We have a couple exciting announcements about AWS Amplify as well. AWS Amplify is an opinionated development framework that makes it easy to build web and mobile applications and add AWS services to them. You can now use the Amplify Add Predictions command to easily configure these apps to include machine learning capabilities using services like Amazon Transcribe and Amazon Textract. We've also added the ability to create local mocks in AWS Amplify. Mocks allow you to test pieces of code without having to test all of their dependencies. For example, you can create mocks of your S3 buckets or Amazon Cognito user pools so you can test code that interacts with these services without having to test the services themselves. We've got blog posts covering all of these new announcements and links will be in the description. That's all we've got for this week. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any AWS updates. Follow me on Twitter at BWest and we'll see you again real soon.